Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by mineral exploration company Orking Mining, ASX code AKN. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the CEO of Orking Mining, Paul Williams. Hi, Paul. Hi, Matt. Okay, Paul, Orking Mining recently entered into an earning agreement with ASX-listed Anglo-Australian Resources to acquire up to 75% of the Coonji Park copper zinc project near Halls Creek in WA. Coonji Park came gift wrapped with an existing resource and if the first drill holes put into the project by All King or anything to go by, that resource looks like it just might jump. All right, firstly, Paul, what's the existing copper zinc resource at Coonji Park? Yeah, we're starting with an existing resource made of 6.8 million tonnes at 1.3% copper, 4.1% zinc, 0.3 grams per tonne gold and 26 grams per tonne silver spread across two deposits at only Eden and, and San Diego. I know. guess they're both still open, is that right? Definitely both still open at depth and potentially along a long strike for both deposits, yes. Okay, so maiden drill campaign, how did you set the drill targets? What major drill were you drilled? We used the historical drilling to give us a, a pointer in terms of where mineralisation was detected before. In Eden, we're, we're really focused on the eastern edge of the known deposit area, and that's where the existing drill hole, the, the new drill holes went into. San Diego is more a test of mineralisation at depth, and that's where we are at the moment. We're down four or 500 metres of depth into that particular deposit. Looks like your targeting was spectacularly successful. Tell me about the headline drill number from the Maiden campaign at Coonji Park. It looks pretty good, right? There was an excellent hole there. Well, the main one was 124 metres of continuous mineralisation, Matt. A bit of 1.03% copper, 1.08% zinc and 1.54% lead. And that's from eight metres below the surface. That was an excellent hole for us. Did that hole finish in mineralisation? It did, yes. It, w- it was drilled at a, as a water bore hole originally, but we like what we were seeing with the samples. And, yes, yeah, so there was more, more potential beyond the 132 metres on the in that hole. Were there any higher grade intervals in that hole? Yeah, we had a, a couple of good sections there, uh, 22 metres at 2.02% copper, another section of 12 metres at 1.87% copper, 3.54% zinc. So there was certainly a lot more to look forward to. There was a high-grade silver and molybdenum zone at the bottom of that hole. And what's next? Are you still drilling or are you about to start another campaign? No, still drilling as we speak, yeah, and then probably rolling on with the, both the RC and the Diamond Rig until late November, early December. Well, it'll be fascinating to see what's at the bottom end of that 120 24 metre hole Paul Williams from Orking Mining. Thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, and 3AW websites and click the Public Companies tab.